How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm gonna show you guys an important life skill, how to use a needle and thread. Most people are not gonna have sewing machines, including myself. So you have something very simple, like a needle like this. Sometimes if you go to a hotel, they would give away needle and thread so that you can patch up whatever that's needed. Doing very simple things with a needle and thread becomes very handy. For example, I tried some air pillows for camping and those were not very comfortable at all. I kept on waking up in the middle of the night. So I thought maybe I can just cut my pillow in half and customize and build my own. If you develop a hole in something, you could potentially fix tiny holes without anyone noticing. I've had many situations where the straps on a backpack would slowly come loose and this becomes very, very annoying. So all you have to do is take two minutes of your time, sew this close and it's never gonna slip again. This video is brought to you by Tech Sock. These socks will keep your feet dry with moisture wicking dry fit technology. The non-slip arch support will keep your sock from bunching up inside your shoe. And now, I will try to fit this over my head. Nope. Nope. It's great in that it's a little bit tighter around your ankle area. Otherwise, it would be a little bit loose right here. The stitching just lays right on top of your toe. And I would say this makes it a bit more comfortable. It has this towel-like material to wick away moisture. If you guys are interested in these socks, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. These are some common kits they may give out if you go to a hotel. It comes ready with a button, a safety pin, and one needle. Usually the length of each thread is only good enough for a one-time use because it's so short. I have over here some nylon thread. This tends to be very, very strong and you can't easily just rip it. I can pull it really hard and this will not rip. I would use a sharp pair of scissors to cut the thread so that you have a very nice clean cut at the end over here. With a clean cut, it becomes really easy to thread the needle. You just kind of put it in the hole. This will take some practice. Sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's easier for some people. So now it just went in like that. You just pair up the two ends, pull the needle all the way on one end, and now you want to tie a knot on this. If you tie a normal knot, it's going to be pretty hard. So what I like to do is just moisten up your fingers. I don't know, use spit or whatever. Tie it one time and wrap it one time around like this. The end will be right under your thumb and you just kind of roll it off your thumb like this. Just roll it two, three times. You see how it rolled. And this is actually a knot right there. So all you have to do is just kind of pull this at the end and you see how I formed a knot. It doesn't have to be pretty or anything. If it sticks out like that, okay, just go ahead and cut off the ends and you can make it a little pretty. And now you've prepped this needle and it's ready for you to start sewing something. This is my pillowcase and I've cut off the end over here and let's say we want to reseal the end of this pillowcase. So what you can do is just flip this inside out first and we're gonna start at one end over here. Just go down about one eighth of an inch and we're just gonna start like that. I'm just gonna put it through and you see the knot over here. It's gonna get stuck in the fabric. Now I'm gonna show you the simplest way. I'm going to put this thread on this side around my finger and I'm gonna put the needle back in. You just gotta make sure all of this thread doesn't get tangled up because once it tangles up, it becomes a really annoying thing to try to untangle it. You see, now I have this thread like this and it's going in in an orderly fashion. Okay, like that. And you don't wanna pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight, you see like it's gonna get crinkled up, right? So every time after you do one thread, you just gotta make sure it's kind of straight like that. And you just kind of repeat. I'll do it one more time. Just push it through. You see it wasn't underneath the needle, it was over it. Gonna pull it close. And you just repeat. If you just let this string just kind of dangle everywhere, I'm gonna show you what happens. See, if you just kind of pull it, it might just pull other stuff and just you know tangle things up. So you want to kind of guide the thread. And I kind of like to guide the thread like this. I just kind of wrap it around my finger, put it through, pull. Wrap it around the finger, put it through, pull. Wrap it around the finger, put it in, through. You wanna keep the spacing relatively the same so it looks nice and even. That. 
you see I'm doing a method where I go in, I go around, and go back in. There's different ways to do it, but this is a pretty easy way to do things. Every once in a while, you wanna pull this a little bit because if you don't, um, this will get all scrunched up in the end and it won't look very even and nice. So when you push it through, don't put your finger right behind here because then you're gonna poke yourself. Hold it right underneath and push it through right above your finger. Give it a little bit of clearance. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster now Oh, see, I pulled it too much and it's all scrunched up. Just kind of pull it back out. There's other ways to do this thread instead of going in and around. You can just do it in a very simple manner where you just go in and instead of pulling it all the way out, you push this needle back in and you've done two threading in one go. Like that. And then you can just keep on doing this. And if you're really lazy, you can space them out even further like this, maybe a quarter inch. But when you space it out further, it's not gonna look as nice like that. But if you pull the string a little bit too much, you see how it can get kind of scrunched up like that. So just make sure it's, it's kind of flat and just keep on going. I'm gonna go back to the other method of kind of going around and around. This would be my preferred method to do it on this pillowcase because it looks a bit nicer and it's a little bit more compact. This kind of sewing tends to be a little bit weak and you can kind of pull it apart very easily. And also when you go round and round like this, it has an added benefit that it's not gonna fray. You see all these lines coming out? If you do it all the way down this pillowcase, like this. All these lines are going to kind of wrap around the edge of this fabric and it's not gonna fray anymore. When you're sewing this, you want to line it up, of course, and then you begin your sewing. Assume that this is the end of the line over here. I'm gonna come back out the other way and we want to tie a knot. So how do we do this? Normally, I would just tie two knots and you just tie a knot like this. And in order to make sure the knot sticks to the very edge over here, right next to the fabric. You need to kind of hold it in a special way and just kind of nudge it all the way down. You see how I got the knot all the way down here. Once you have it all the way down with your three point of contact, then you can kind of start pulling this side and kind of let it kind of get smaller and smaller while it's staying there. And once you have the knot at the fabric and you just kind of touch it at the end and you just pull the rest hot and it'll stay in place. You see, the knot is right there. Now I'm gonna put another knot here because I want a double knot so that it's a little bit more secure. And make sure that this string goes underneath that first knot right there. Now it's in place. Now I can start tightening it. I am pulling on this string to tightening it and uh, just sort of guiding it in. And once it's small enough, right there. Just kind of pull it close and this is done. We can cut this off. This string might be a little bit too short to reuse. So you can just throw this leftover piece of thread away and you can just start another threading session uh, with another piece of string. This one I wanna flip over and show you guys what it looks like. Here is where I sewed. This is where I started. It would look a little bit better if you make sure you're very, very even, but this is typically very okay, I mean, it's not gonna come loose. You see the threading, it's very tight. And as I went down a little bit more, I was sewing every quarter inch or so, and you can see that it just kind of comes apart a little bit and it's not as nice. So this would be a little bit more durable on this side. And this one just comes off a little bit. I would recommend going a little bit tighter. This is around 1 16th of an inch or so every single time I put the needle thread in. So this is the corner of the pillowcase and pretty durable over here. I hope this video helps you guys out in repairing some of your things and also maybe customize some of your things to your liking. Give me a like over here, comment down below and let me know if this helps you out and push that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of these. Thanks for watching.